Welcome to Tackle Tactics TV. On this episode, we're down in Victoria with Tackle Tactics Pro Anglers, Corey McLaren, Luke Smith, getting in on some of their local action, and it's already game on. Half a dozen casts into the morning, mate. Not a bad start. Yeah, a little, little rat jury, this one. Probably well, he's a bit bigger, he's just having a crack. Good fun on the light gear, eh? Yeah, awesome fun on the light gear, hey. So that's on a Slim Swims. Yep. Yeah. Kick things off. Two and a half inch blood worm. Uh, rigging them nice and light, we're just with one sixteenth. Yep. And we're just fishing a, a little drop off, got a good channel in the middle here and a nice, nice flat. We're just trying to work sort of that two metre edge. Yeah, beautiful. And you guys are fishing pretty light, light jig heads, light leader, uh, black brim and possible mulloway, hey? Yeah, that's, that's it. That's the best way to target them down here. We sort of don't get too many big fish. Um, so the, the best way is basically fishing for brim and you get these as a bycatch. Awesome, that's a cool fun sized fish. Beautiful looking fish, eh? Usually when you get this size fish too, there might be a hundred in a school. Yeah, <laughs> so awesome. you can go for hours. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome <laughs> fun, eh? So there you go, a bit of fun on light gear, four pound liters, uh, one sixteenth, one twelfth jig heads with a two and a half inch slimmy, and you can have a lot of fun catching these guys, especially if you do come across a school of them, that's awesome. That's the thing with that, you don't know, you, quite often you can get one that size, the next one might be 12 pound. Yeah, that's awesome, eh? That's fishing, that's cool. We love a bite, especially this early. I'll let you swim in. Beautiful. Fish on, on our target species for the day. Corey, keep going there, you know, mate. Southern black brim. That first one you held before? No, you've got them in WA. Yeah, I've caught, I've caught a few before, but they're um, they're a bit beefier often than our fish up north, hey. Now, some of them fill right out, get really thick across the shoulders. He's full in his belly. He's had a feed or something. Southern black brim, good fun. Bit different to the yellowfin brim that a lot of us catch up north. Yellowfin, a bit more aggressive, eh? So we, we can often fish heavier leaders, fish a bit faster, fish a bit heavier. Down here, it's slow as you go. Shake the few shakes and a lot, lot of pauses, lot, eh? A lot of movement, a lot of pauses. Slower the better. That's sort of our rule down here is sort of when you think you're going slow, slow down again. Yep. And especially for the big fish, they can be really shy. So it's just a matter of going a bit finesse on the leader, bit finesse on the jig head weight, Yep. and just nice and slow. And it's a, a subtle take a lot of the time? Sometimes it just depends on how the, what the fish's mood is. Um, they can hit it on the drop straight away, absolutely crunch it, take off. Other times they'll sit on it and then little sleeper fish and you don't know that they're even there until you go to do your next next lift and he's just sitting on it. So. Yeah, no, that's awesome. We'll yeah. get him back in the water, check out the Check out the belly on that thing, you know, they're a, that's a heavy heavy fish for its size, that's for sure. Yeah. No wonder you guys get the big bags down here in your comps. Yeah, for us, he's, <laughs> he's probably he's probably just over just over legal size. Yeah, and he's heavy, eh? Legal size Little down here is 28 centimetres, so. Awesome, we'll swim him, and we'll see if we can track down a few more. Buckle up. Fish on, that was a nice take, mate. Yeah, that was a good one. He's got a couple of little soft taps there and that one was a bit more aggressive. Sort Just. Got to be a bit quicker, it's sort of cold morning and the hands aren't working. <laughs> yeah, she's a bit chilly, eh, down here. So that was a, oh, we got the net. Nah, that's right. That was a edge bite. Yeah, that was pretty close to the edge. Oh, no. Well, release, release nice okay. release. Easy. That one stays in the water. <laughs> so in, the, in this situation here, Luke, we're fishing the edge, casting up, to, so it's an edge bike, we're fishing the drop off in the edge here, but yep. what sort of structure is it and what you retrieve on, a, on an edge like this? So with this one here, it's pretty much like what you see. Uh, you get a fair few rocks come into the water. There's some that are out a fair bit wider as well. But at this time of year, there's a fair bit of weed growth in close. So we're not trying to cast right on the rocks, otherwise you just get uh, plenty of weed. 
yep. just a few meters out off it. Um, what I'm doing is I'm using a nice light jig head, so I'm just trying to lift it up a bit rather than drag across the bottom through the weed. Yep. I'm just trying to do small hops in the air, keep it out of the weed, and just nice little hops, just a little flick or even just the rod tip up and just shake it, just to yep. get that tail wobbling and trying to keep it in the zone for as long as possible. And then you're uh, pausing and letting it settle or just... Pl pl plenty of pauses. Yep. Plenty of pauses is the key for me anyway. And then what, what did that, that fish that you just had on then, what was the take like on it? So just, just a sharp, sharp hit on the drop. Yep, on the drop. So m most of the fish will uh, hit either as soon as you start moving it or once you sort of go to let it settle, as soon as you stop your action or whatever, you'll get a hit then yep. straight away. So there you go, be ready all the time. Get that, get that shake or those couple of little hops up and be ready for that tap on the drop so you can set the hook. Nice work. Too easy. Alrighty, that's, that's a solid fish. That's nice. Bit better one. Yeah. Oh, you'd be happy if you got a bag of them for starters, eh? Yeah, for in here, you definitely struggles for size. Um, but definitely makes up for it in numbers, so. Yeah, and that's a solid fish. Yeah, he's not a bad one. On that little Slim Swims again, two yeah, and a half on, inch. On a 12th. One I like 12th. to fish the 12th a little bit more. Um, I like to dig the oh. sand up, as Luke likes to, you know, hop and pop. Yep. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty lazy. I like to draw him in with that, with the sand spray. Yep. Coming off the bottom. So there you go, there's two, there's two completely different techniques, yeah. eh? And we're at the same day, so. Yep, There's same no day, right same fish. Way to work a plastic. Yep, so that light ahead, just pop and drop it. Yep. This one, you're just, yeah, you're stirring up the bottom of it. We're working it a little bit more aggressively. Yep. And the take, pretty similar, soft tape on the take on the drop. Uh, that one there, like, you can usually tell they're a better sort of fish when they hit it. Yep. Especially with the blacks. Um, yellowfin, sometimes you can, you know, you struggle. Yep. Um, but definitely with the black brim, usually the take gives it away straight away the size of fish so yeah well that was a good that was a good solid take on that one that's for sure yeah. it was fish on yeah <laughs> i love it Oi! fish on yeah it's good fish this one one sixteenth head one sixteenth head that was uh the first little lift yep and just working an area of flats yep that's it ranger just made the shift and just moved us in a bit closer and that was first cast yeah Seems to have some weight behind it too, mate. Yeah, this one's better than the first few that we got. This one will be a legal one, I would dare say. Got a good bit of weight behind it. Drag sounds nice on that Helios. Love them. <laughs> Love them, nice and smooth. Helios rod, yep. light. Yeah, no, I love it. Very, very happy with them. Yeah, pretty good value for money for the punter, those things. Under 200 bucks, 40 ton Torre, graphite blanks. Full Fuji's, Fuji grip. Mate, that thing has got some grunt, eh? <laughs> Four pound litre, how do you feel? <laughs> I mean, this is the fun thing of it, is sort of you get value for money with your bikes. So you get one or two fish, you have a, yeah, bit, yeah. a bit of fun on the fire. Yeah. Oh, and the thing is, you know, the, the average size brim that we're catching here as well, still a nice solid fish. Yeah. Awesome fun on the four pound and the light gear. Yeah. But, and you know, you could catch them in the school size Mulloway all day, but you just never know what's coming on the next take, eh? Exactly hey? right, but then if you go too heavy and target just the Mulloway with the heavy Mulloway gear, you hook brim, you just skull drag them in, there's no fun in it at all. So, yep. so you get the best of both worlds with this at least. Yeah, and you could have, you know, you could come and fish heavy, fish big gear, and you, you might not end up with a fish for the day, yeah, whereas, exactly right. you know, we've already put a bunch of fish in the boat. Yeah, and that's it, and that's where one of our main techniques is, if we're targeting Mulloway, we might go there where we think they are, but we still fish brim style. Yep. So it's still not nice lightweight, still small lures, um, and then that way your target brim, mull away are your bycatch. Yep. And in these systems as well, yeah, your you chance of an estuary perch up further and that yeah, sort of definitely. thing as well. At, at times they'll be down here, it just depends where they are hanging. Yep. Got a good clump. Oh, look at the fish behind him, cast behind, cast behind. Fish behind him. Mull away behind him. <laughs> just cast him behind Rang. Got him behind him there. Was that five behind him? Did you see him, Justin? Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. I've never seen him come up like that. Thought he had a heap of weed behind him. Yeah, he might come back up with his mates again now that he's gone back down. That was awesome. It's good to know that they're about. Yeah. They're nice fish and he had about five mates with him. <laughs> I can't believe that. I thought it was a big trail of weed off the line. Yeah. Well, they were right on his tail too, eh? Yeah. Corey did say it earlier that um, 
quite often they will come up with them for a look. Yeah. Oh, you've seen me with the net. <laughs> that two and a half inch slim swims too, hey. Oh, no, that two and a half inch slimmy, you know, it's a little, it's only a small paddle tail, but it's got a big action. Definitely. And yeah, puts fish out really of all sizes bait. eat it, hey. There's a real nice strong tail bait that comes off them. That is a cool fish, mate. <laughs> That's a cool size school jewelry, hey. On your bodworm colour again. Love as the well. bodworm. What are your go-to colours? Uh, probably bloodworm, motor oil are two favourite. Yep. Um, midnight oil is fast becoming one of them. And bad shad would round out the four. Yep. Yep. So you've got it covered there, UV and natural and a yep. real clear light sort of colour as yep. well for Bloodworm's a favourite, especially for brim. Um, one thing I got told when I first started was um, basically match the water colour. Yep. Down in our southern waterways, they are pretty sort of brown and murky. Yep. So, love a bloodworm colour, but then when you are on that nice clear water, the bad shad can be good, and motor oil, obviously, everything eats it. And this and this little slim swims, everything eats it. Brim, Mulloway, Estuary yep. Perch, up our way, you know, all the floodies get on it and all that sort of stuff as well. So there you go, little slim swims, nice size school Mulloway. Good fun on that light gear. Hopefully we can find his mates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>